up again, Hollywood Horror Film Club, Ghostface, and Michael Myers Collectors. Thank you for joining me here today on this gloomy Saturday for a new video here on the channel. Today we're going to be going over the new Scream 7 leaks. Um, but before we start, please like and subscribe. Um, it really helps the channel a lot. Hit the bell notification to be notified when I upload new videos. Uh, hit the comments below and um, share these videos with anyone and everyone you know. So we can keep making more horror content here on the channel. All right, so happy 420, anyone. Today's 420, in case anyone doesn't know. I mean, why would you not know? <laughs> but yeah, happy 420. Um, welcome back from the ghost face of Scream fan film. That was the last video I posted up. Um, thanks a lot for the views on that. It's doing pretty, pretty damn good. Um, I'm posting a bunch of behind the scenes stuff on the channel too, if you want to check that out as well. Um, but yeah, let's get into the video. So um, this morning, or I think yesterday, in the, what was it, in like, I don't know, the evening or something, I was watching a movie, and then I saw a video by uh, Beyond, uh, what is it, what is it called, Beyond the Mask, the, the Scream content creator on YouTube, and yeah, there's apparently new uh, Scream 7 leaks um, that were posted to Scream News, um, I think on X or Twitter, whatever it is now, um, so this is by Scream News, all of this. I got some screenshots because I didn't want to write down everything. And we're going to be going over some of the new um, leaks. And this is all, all confirmed because it's it's posted by Scream News, you know? Um, yeah, and we got some interesting stuff to discuss here right now. Um, but before we start with that, let's recap. Um, the last things, the last updates that I remember doing on Scream 7 was that, um, of course, Sydney's returning. That's confirmed. Kevin Williamson is directing. Um james vanderbilt whatever is writing the script um who well, um patrick dempsey and uh courtney cox were in uh rumors or they were in talks to return um no word on hayden panettiere if she's returning yet um let me see and that they were shooting in canada that's that's all i pretty much remember that was the last update i gave on scream 7 but right here we got some new stuff all right so like i said earlier from scream news Scream 7 News from the, you know, the, the page called Scream News. They also titled the, the post Scream News. I don't know if you can see it too well. But yeah, so the first one is that um, there will be a new young, there will be new young leads again. But Sydney and Gail are once again the main characters along with Sydney's family. Yeah, that, that's, that's, that's typical of a Scream movie to have a brand new, you know, crop of uh, fresh young faces young teens or whatever um to fill out the story you know to have the whole original screen feeling you know because in the first one they were all teens and stuff so i guess that's why they always have need to have the teens in screen movies it's just to give it that like old school feeling you know yeah so like i said n nothing surprising there of course there's going to be you know new young actors playing the new leads you know um but like it says right here, there will be new young leads again, but Sydney and Gail are once again the main characters along with Sydney's family. So what I get from that is that they're probably going back, um, I don't know, maybe to like old motives or maybe something to do with Maureen again, you know, since Sydney and Gail are the main characters again. And since they're being targeted now again, so th there, there has to be someone from the past again, I guess, you know, that wants to get revenge of some type or something. Um, second one is someone is targeting Sydney's family is the basic story. Yeah, so yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that's what pretty much everyone was expecting for Scream 7 to be even before we even got official leaks or anything like that. Every even during like Scream 6 people were like, oh, yeah, Scream 7 should be uh, targeting Sydney's family, you know, because even uh, what's his name Um, Bailey Detective Bailey says in the in the monologue at the end of Scream 6 that they got to go make sure uh, what is it? Um, gail and uh what is it um mindy don't pull through so that that tells you that they were gonna go after everyone else that was still around if they were not stopped so they were gonna go after sydney regardless even if even if us uh, even if scream 7 would have turned out the original scream 7 i still think that they were still gonna have to do something with sydney's family yeah so that's the basic story someone targeting sydney's family um that's a pretty basic plot actually very very basic um which is not a bad thing they are uh they are already in talks with the actors for all the lead roles including sydney's two kids well yeah like in the like in the first one that i said yeah there's gonna be uh new young leads you know you gotta have those young like 
teen characters in high school or college age kind of um but it says right here that they already in talks with actors for all the lead roles yeah we know that pretty much including sid's two kids so um sid's two kids uh we don't know if they're gonna be um if they're gonna actually be um children children or or teens you know because it's never really Im implied what what age age range they are in scream five when uh sydney calls um, when dewey calls sydney to warn her not to go to woodsboro um she says that mark took the kids to school and stuff and to me that sounded like they're probably like i don't know maybe elementary age you know so so th that's a really trippy one I, I don't know how they're gonna handle that you know they're actually gonna have ghost face actually targeting actual like children children you know but i mean we already saw that in halloween michael myers targeted children all the time you know um yeah that that's interesting though i wonder how they're gonna go about this one i wonder what age range are they gonna make these kids you know either like elementary middle school age or high school age kids is or toddlers i don't know that that's definitely a mystery to me right there um yeah that's very very weird yeah they, they gotta figure something out with this one um honestly i wouldn't mind there were teens you know like i mean it says that there will be new young leads again so i'm, I'm kind of I kind of got a feeling they might be teens, you know, just, you know, to be part of the, you know, the new young cast, which they should have done that in Scream 5. Uh, they should have gave uh, Sydney's kids a bigger role in that movie. They should have made them teens, you know, they could have been helping out Sam and Tara. Shit, maybe one of them could have been the killers. Imagine one of Sydney's kids being the killers. That would be a twist. All right, the next page. We got another page of more Scream 7 leaks. I'm sorry for the glare. It's because I have the window open. I should have closed it. Yeah, but this is this this is also from um, Scream News, Scream Seven rumors. Okay, right here, Patrick Dempsey, and these are rumors. The last ones we went over is Scream Seven News. The first the first page I went over is Scream Seven News. The next one is Scream Seven rumors. All right, so I already told y'all, so no one says I'm making up shit. All right, first one is Patrick Dempsey has signed on for Scream Seven. All right, no surprise there. People have been talking about him coming back for a minute also already. You know. Also because, uh, you know, in Scream 5, Sydney literally says, Mark. Who's the only fucking Mark we know in Scream is Mark and Kate, Patrick Dempsey. Yeah, so so that's a no-brainer, pretty much. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if this is true. I wouldn't be surprised at all if it's true, you know? Um, which is cool, too. I, li I like this character in, um, in uh, what is it, in Scream 3. Uh, one thing, though, is I wouldn't want to see him... I mean, it'd be cool. I know, I know I said last time it'd be cool to have him as one of the killers because then you would actually feel the betrayal for Sydney. But at the same time, it's like they already established him as a good guy. And he's already the killer in Thanksgiving. So I, I would want to I, I would wanna see him play, keep the good guy role pretty much again, you know? Since he's already kind of like a ghost face guy already in another franchise. All right, second one. One of, one, um, second... Second Scream 7 rumor, my bad about that, I had like a tongue twister. One child star for Sydney's daughter has been casted already, alright? Yeah? That's pretty crazy. Um, there's already one child star, one kid that's already been casted as Sydney's daughter. Um, so, who's this daughter from though? Could it be uh, Mark and Kate's daughter from another marriage? Or is it one of Sydney's two kids? You know, how the... How the how, how, How's this gonna work? Yeah, they, they really gotta work on the ages for uh, Sydney's kids. Um, it'd be kind of cool if uh, Mark and Kate already had like a teenage or older, twenty-something, thirty-something-year-old daughter. Um, and uh, you know she's kind of like a protector for the Sydney's kids in a way. You know, she's Sydney's stepdaughter or something. That would be kind of cool. Um, you know, uh, maybe make her like the new final girl or something in a way. Um, or if not, then I guess, I'm guessing it's just one of Sydney's, um, one of Sydney's two children that are going to be in this movie. And one of them happens to be a daughter and a boy. That's, that's pretty much all I, all I could go off right now for that. The next one, Sydney's neighbor has been mentioned as a big character. Sydney's neighbor. So I'm guessing she has a neighbor, um, or something in the movie. Uh, I forgot from the last updates, honestly. But yeah, apparently that she has a neighbor um, that's going to be a big character in the movie. Could it be that nanny they were talking about last time? Yeah, because this one right here is really confusing to me. Sydney's neighbor has been mentioned as a big character. 
Could it be that nanny they were talking about? You know, when I said Judy Greer might be in the Scream 7. Um, yeah, so that, that one's kind of trippy to me. But if you have X, you could, uh, X or Twitter, whatever, you could look these rumors up yourself and then try to figure that out uh, because that one's kind of trippy. Sydney's neighbor has a, Sydney's neighbor has been mentioned as a big character. Interesting, interesting. All right, last one. They were probably filmed in Canada. Yeah, yeah, we already, we already went over that. That's an old rumor also from the last month or so or two months or something ago already. Yeah, but I wouldn't be surprised that they film in Canada since it's cheaper to film in Canada. Um, Scream 6 film in Canada. Why wouldn't they film in Canada again, right? Um, the thing is, though, is are they going to still be in the New York setting? Or are they going to be back in Woodsboro? Or so I heard a rumor that Sydney lives in Seattle, supposedly. So are we going to be back in the city or back in the suburbs? Or in the Pacific Northwest? Um, if she lives in Seattle, that would be kind of weird. Because, damn, I, I don't know if I could... I could stand pro I could stand probably seeing Ghostface in the snow, but maybe not in the rain. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, yeah, these are the new Scream Seven rumors. Um, like I said, the first one is uh, Scream Seven news; those are actual updates. But the second page I mentioned are rumors still. But like I said, I wouldn't be surprised if they turn out to be true. They sound pretty pretty likely to be true. Yeah, but um, that's it for today's video, Hollywood Horror Film Club. Thank you for joining me here on the channel again for the Scream 7 rumors update. Like I always say, please hit like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. Hit the bell notification to be notified when I upload new videos. Um, hit the comments below. Um, share these videos with everyone, anyone you know, so we can make more horror content here on the channel. And uh, follow us on Instagram at Hollywood Horror Film Club. And I'll uh, catch y'all next time.